Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the uh, Model 3 or Model Y door panel. And sorry that uh, the video, uh, when I recorded, uh, the microphone got disconnected. So first of all you need to prepare the, so I'm going to do the voiceover here instead. Um, first of all, uh, prepare the necessary tools. You will need a T25, T27 and also 8mm uh, hex drive uh, the screwdriver and also a um, some plastic uh, pry tool to remove the door panel. Uh, first, uh, we need to uh, unscrew the bolt in, uh, in the door panel. So there is one bolt behind the red reflection plastic and then the other bolt, um, the screw uh, underneath the handle. So there are total two underneath the handle and one behind the reflection um, plastic and um, in to remove the plastic uh, it's better to use a flat uh, screwdriver so I take the flat head screwdriver and then just uh, ply in and then it's very easy to remove it so you see the screw behind the uh, and then just un unscrew all the screw so you can see the screw location uh, with my uh, impact driver. So if you do, ha do not have an impact driver, screwdriver would be fine as well. Or maybe some drill is okay as well. So it depends on what tools do you have. And I prefer to use a flat uh, plastic pry tool because I find it easier to uh, insert. So and then when I insert, I just do a you know movement like a screwdriver and then you can see the door panel will pop out so when you feel the door panel is pop out just be gentle um, make sure all the door panel is unplugged towards your 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 body because uh, the the plastic clip is very easy to break so you want to make sure that the, the angle is correct so once you have removed um, unplug all the plastic click, uh, you can uh, remove the Twitter mount. So basically it's very easy. You just pull it up, the Twitter mount will, you know, will come out. And then the whole door panel can be removed by lifting, uh, lifting a little bit up. So because the door panel is actually hanging on the door. So you just have to lift, when, when all the plastic clip is uh, un unclipped, you just have to lift up and uh, the, the door panel can be removed. Now put it aside and then we go to the speaker. So in here um, you have to use T25 and a 8mm hex um, driver to remove all the screw. So uh, now we remove it. Because uh, uh, first of all the connect connector in here we use is a uh, other type because uh, uh, when we start doing the uh, speaker upgrade we do not have the OEM connector but after after that now we already have the OEM connector so you can just use the OEM connector instead of having to use you know the other aftermarket connector so remove the speaker with the connector and then just put a new one in uh, this video is only used for demonstration, so um, the speaker previously is actually an aftermarket as well. And in your case, probably it's going to be a stock um, speaker, which is a little bit larger. It's our seven inch, and the aftermarket is six and a half. And just put that, put back all the screw and. You do not want to over tight the screw here because all the screw mostly is um, held by plastic. So if you over tight the screw here, uh, you might strip your you know screw your hole. So uh, it's not going to be uh, yeah it's, it it will strip if you if you you know over tight it. So just make sure that the screw is tight enough but not too tight so you see I you know put all the screw back and then uh, the hex screw as well and once it's done 
just you know connect to the connector to your speaker so in your case it's going to be easier because the length of the connectors uh, should be better because in my case this I have to extend have my um, cable extended so I I use a zip type to make sure the the wire do not vibrate but in your case you probably don't need to do that because you don't have to cut the uh, connector like in my case here to have a aftermarket connector instead because we do have a um, stock connector provide uh, in our shop and if you need a 3D print mount we have six and a half eight inch um, both available and uh, also the front the dash um, meat we also have the 3D printer mount and the woofer as well so you can uh, put back the door panel um, just uh, from the top and then slide down make sure all the plastic clip is aligned because you don't want to break your uh, plastic clip um, and when you when you can see that it's aligned that you can just you know push it back in Make sure all the clip you hear the click sound, and then uh, put the Twitter back. Uh, just put push back down, and uh, it's all tight. Now uh, you just have to put back the screw here. Uh, there are three screw, and then put back the uh, cover. Uh, once it's done, um, the upgrade is pretty much uh, complete. The Model 3 stock um, Twitter will give you a very harsh sound, but the woofer do not produce uh, much enough detail and also uh, uh, clarity so after the upgrade uh, you will find it's more ple uh, pleasant um, for you know the sound quality is more uh, pleasant and I, I have personally tested uh, many speakers in, uh, you know installed in my car as well and the best uh, one of the best result um, with you know good price is um, Alpine S series or maybe Infinity Kappa, it works in in the car as well. And and there are many people also prefer to use the Focal One uh, SU two hundred. And so it depends on your choice. And thanks for watching.